underway in this Turo Eliminator matchup. Kenny Alfonso starting things off against Chris Saban. Saban the veteran, 40 years old, really the innovator of the X Division style of wrestling that we've seen develop over the last 15 years against three men in their early 20s. Saban's been wrestling almost as long as these three guys have been alive. And you got to think that a lot of tape study, or in this day and age, DVD study, stream study, done by the other participants in this contest have watched a lot of Chris Saban over the years, perhaps while they were children <laughs> and deciding to become professional wrestlers, perhaps they were inspired by a Chris Saban or Alex Shelley uh, from that era of professional wrestling and now getting the opportunity to test their own skills against him here in this matchup. There's the athleticism that Kenny Alfonso has been displaying all over the Midwest trained by Mike Seidel Nice duck under there, controlling the wrist of Saban. Saban quickly trying to work his way out of this position, turn things around here. Saban. Alfonso able to get the arm drag. Saban, an eight-time X Division champ, and one half of arguably one of the greatest tag teams of the last 20 years in the Motor City Machine Guns. Exchanging forearm shots with one another at this point. Definitely three men looking to make their name at Chris Saban's expense here in Atlanta tonight as they hit the ropes. Shoulder tackle, no one give it an inch. Second time, both men go for the drop down. And the drop kick, clearly some tape study was going on, Dave. Absolutely, Alfonso prepared for Saban, but the same can be said for Saban still staying at the top of his game, studying the, uh, the younger competitors, working their way into this industry, into the sport of professional wrestling. Oh, oh. Beautiful drop kick right there from Alfonso. The Kansas City kid getting up in the lights, and the hometown favorite, Leon Ruff. He is cool as a hiccup. Got all of that kick to the back of the head. And this crowd is loud in support of Leon Ruff. Out to the apron he goes. And a rather successful, albeit unexpected, run as NXT North American champ, showing the evasive techniques. Through the legs and into the head scissors. Though these fans may appreciate the other three involved in the match, they are solidly behind Ruff in this contest. And Ruff, a bit of a smile on his face as Trey Lamar comes in. It was Trey Lamar trained by Candice and Johnny Gargano, and it was Johnny Gargano that Leon Ruff defeated to become NXT North American champion. Yep. Representing AIW with the hoodie on his way to the ring, I noticed tonight. Nicely frog up and over the top he goes. The pace is certainly picked up. Nice drop kick right there from Trey Lamar. Trey Lamar back in action for the first time in a couple of months. Was out with an injury and good to see Trey back. I don't wonder if it's going to be any rust. That's a quick roll up there by Alfonso at a near fall. Ducks underneath. Backbreaker by Lamar. Drives both knees into the back this time. Going for the cover here. Forces the shoulders down and gets a near fall. Quickly grabbing hold of the head. Perhaps looking for a suplex. Snapping him down to the canvas. Right into a cover he goes. And Lamar wasting no time trying to pick up the victory here. Driving that knee into the back. And big stakes on the line here in our opener. You get to pick your next opponent if you win this matchup. Always a good thing, and getting kicked in the side of the head, never a good thing. Hey, we could see somebody come out of this match looking to challenge Jonathan Gresham for the Ring of Honor World Championship, and there's a cover and a kick out. That certainly could be the case. Or could be challenging Santana for the ROH World Champion. Depending on how things end up tonight, that is very true. The original ROH World Championship will be on the line in that matchup, and Saban tags himself back in and delivers the headbutt here to Alfonso. Looking to send him across the ring, into the corner he goes. Fighting with the turnbuckle, and it's Saban with a leaping forearm in the corner. Nice suplex. Floats right over, back press, leg is hooked deep, and a kick out at two by Alfonso. Looking to keep him grounded, grabbing a hold of the chin lock here. Prevent him from using that quickness, that speed, and take away his energy in the process. Chris Saban trying to dictate the pace of this matchup. And that's exactly what you expect, Dave, out of a veteran like Chris Saban. You know, 
as you get older, sometimes you lose a little bit of a step, maybe perhaps physically, but what you do, you make up for it with intelligence and experience and trying to slow and dictate the pace is exactly what Saban is doing right now and doing it very effectively here as we're inside 10 minutes, five minutes gone in his 15 minute time limit. Just repeatedly driving that knee into the back with the arms crossed around the throat, trying to fight his way to his feet here. Alfonso getting some support from the fans in attendance to fight out of the hold, and he does. Several elbows to the midsection of Saban, but delivers that knee to the midsection of Alfonso. Shut him back down. Oh! There's a huge kick from Alfonso oh. in retaliation. Caught Saban right in the jaw. Saban making sure all of his teeth were still intact. Caught that kick attempt. Move to the midsection of Saban. Alfonso went downstairs as Saban was looking to block that high kick a second time. Swing and a miss. Alfonso into the ropes. Oh, with the stunner! What a counter! By Alfonso! And Kemp's right back up! Looking to capitalize momentum off the ropes now! With an oh. strike! Cover! Only two, but holding out of the leg! Into an STF he goes! Very quickly, as soon as he realized he didn't get the pin, going for the submission. Doesn't quite have the cross face locked in. He's got him more around the chin than across that bridge of the nose. See Saban trying to inch his way toward the ropes to force a break in the hold. Willie Tap is thinking about it. Referee in great position right there. And he reaches that bottom rope. And no disrespect to Kenny Alfonso intended, but that certainly would have been, I think, an upset on most people's cards if you would have told me that Chris Saban was going to be the first one eliminated in this matchup. And rough now comes in swinging. What a flurry here, full of energy. There's a tag, though. Trey Lamar, I don't know that Alfonso knows that the tag was made. Counts as a tag, grabbing the waist lock here, and double waist locks. Alfonso lands on his feet, able to connect with the kick on Trey Lamar. Alfonso and Lamar, the legal men. Ruff eats an elbow. Alfonso getting focused, elbow in the corner on Lamar. And one on the other side of the ring for Leon Ruff. Oh! Ruff misses. Sent into the... Lamar, there's another stunner. This time on Trey Lamar. That's Alfonso with the drop kick. There's the cover. Only two. Ruff rolling to the floor. Alfonso in the center of the ring. Get these people behind him. Saban rolling underneath the bottom rope. He's back inside the oh. ring. And throws that super kick and knocks Alfonso into next week. And Alfonso never saw it coming. Off the apron to the floor, wiping out Trey Lamar is Chris Saban. Saban wisely picking his spots here, but it's rough connecting. And Ruff now over the top and to the floor, wiping him out. Ruff with the Piscato, three men down, and Alfonso has his three opponents on the floor. Gonna take a chance here. Over the top and to the floor, wiping him out. And this crowd in Atlanta is on their feet. Packed house here in Atlanta. Alfonso, climbing up, looking to follow up, trying to capitalize. Trey Lamar on his back, moves out of the way, and oh. nails a huge super kick. Traps the arm. Oh, face first into the canvas. And now Lamar going to take a chance off the top rope. Hits that froggy elbow. Cover! Alfonso eliminated. Kenny Alfonso has been eliminated. Uh, we are we are down to just about five minutes left in this matchup. And it is down to Trey Lamar, Leon Ruff, and Chris Sabin. German suplex from Ruff. Just launched him. 
Going for a cover here. Leg hook. Only two, though. Rough wasting no time. No time, not the friend of anyone in this matchup at this point. And you got to keep your eye on the clock at all times. And Chris Saban may be the smartest of all here, staying on the outside. As Ruff trying to get Lamar to give it up. Saban now up on the apron, now up on the top. Out of nowhere, it's Saban. Cross body on both of his opponents. Saban working them both over now. Combination of forearms and chops. Off the ropes he comes. Oh, bad timing for Lamar and Ruff. Tornado DDT. Used Ruff as a little bit of leverage there. He's able to plant his foot on him to get that swinging DDT to drive Lamar into the canvas head first. And now Saban with Ruff in his sights. Big boot in the corner. Cradles the leg. Rolling through with the fisherman. Nice bridge. Two. Looks the shoulders and a kick out at two. And Saban thought that was it. Ruff still got some fight left in him. Crowd getting behind him to dig down for some energy here. Pull it together. About 320 left in this matchup. Back kick. Combination here from Ruff in the corner. They're doing damage to the neck. Leg is hooked, shoulders down to eliminate Saban. No. Saban able to get that shoulder up. Lamar keeping an eye on things from the floor. And again, I think it's smart strategy on anyone's part at this juncture of the match to just stay out of the way. Yes. Let these you won't two get eliminated that way. Give yourself a shot with just one left rather than get involved here. Lamar up on the apron, though. Saw Ruff was going to take a chance. And now they're focused on each other. Oh! Lamar able to connect with the Enzikiri on Ruff. Saban's back up. Oh, he was trying to go for the shoulder to the midsection, but avoided it. Oh, nice evasion right there, and then using the ropes to his advantage was Lamar. Snaps him back, rolls back with him. Into the oh, drop oh, kick. Oh. Nicely done by Trey Lamar. Innovative offense. By the youngster out of Ohio. You see a welt formed on the back of Chris Saban in the corner. Rough outside of the ring. Lamar elevated to the apron here by Saban. Inside two minutes to go. Lamar able to roll back in. Drives that shoulder into the midsection. Propels himself to the top rope into the crossbody. I guess nice hooked. Hook. Shoulders down, Saban up at two. Not enough. 90 seconds left. Time to go after it here. Hammer lock applied. Rough on Rough. the second. Into the cutter. Turns him over, cover. One, two, three. And Leon Ruff pins Trey Lamar. Trey Lamar has been eliminated. Well, we are down to 70 seconds here with Chris Saban and Leon Ruff. And it's clear who these fans are rooting for. Don't bet feeling the effects of this battle. 14 minutes that they have fought against two other opponents besides each other. Tope from Ruff sends Saban back in and right to the top. No wasted motion from Ruff. Hits the frog splash. Cover. No. Not enough. Looking to put him away. 42 seconds left in the time limit. Needs to start going for some pin attempts here. Off the second. Oh, caught by Saban. Release German. Rough gaze there. Knockout kick. Inside 30 seconds here. Saban going for cradle shock. That's it. Cover. And that's it. Chris Saban scores the victory. Here is your winner, Chris Saban. Game, it came down to the very 
very end of the 15-minute time limit. Chris Saban, the veteran, pulls out the win in his terminal eliminator. They had to keep their eyes on the clock, and all of the athletes on the Terminus roster are going to have to get used to it. The time limits on these bouts will certainly play a factor in who scores the win.